Whether FTX will be the next Three Arrows capital may be relatively unlikely. But in a bad market environment, in the event of a big short sniper, the market is under the herd effect, the panic intensifies, and digital assets are expected to shrink further significantly. The FTX is likely to cash out a large amount in the short term due to the protection and capital turnover, which causes weak short-term buying, huge digital asset selling, extremely high market vulnerability, and increased risk of accelerated decline in currency prices. What needs to be more vigilant is that if this spiral falls, the real run risk of FTX will come, and FTX's capital chain may be unable to be paid due to the shrinkage of digital assets. In addition, from a macro point of view, U.S. stocks and Bitcoin are closely linked, and the U.S. midterm elections and this week's CPI data are likely to further hit the market confidence, which cannot be ruled out as the last straw that crushes the camel's back. The following article will explore the above points in detail. Now, let me see a few facts behind the FTX incident that cannot be ignored. The FTX incident, first of all, Coindex exposed Alameda's financial data. The market was in an uproar, and panic began to spread. Binance co-founder He Yi tweeted insinuations about the incident, and the market's speculation about the financial situation of FTX and Alameda intensified. Subsequently, Whale Alert detected that $580 million of FTT was transferred from an unknown wallet to Binance, and CZ said that this was the fact that Binance was liquidating FTT, a butterfly effect that caused the market panic to reach a climax, and the selling pressure began to occur. Subsequently, the SBF and CZ expressed their intention to go to war after simple expressions of ideas. In response to Coindesk's report, Alameda CEO Carolyn responded that it was not true, saying that its assets of more than $10 billion were not reflected there, and then said that it was willing to buy all of Binance's FTT for $22. Besides these, FTX and Alameda have a close relationship. The founders are SBF, FTX after the collapse of Luna, frequent sales, participate in unsecured loans, purchase bankruptcy liquidation companies, spend money sponsorship, etc., among which the more well-known companies involved in the acquisition include Celsius, BlockFi, Voyager, and so on. This is also the point of the irony of a well-known figure on an exchange, and a large amount of money may have been excessive. On September 22, it was reported that crypto exchange FTX was in talks with potential investors to obtain up to $1 billion in new funding, and the source of Coindesk's earnings report may be related to this. In January, FTX Trading Limited announced the completion of a $400 million Series C funding round valued at $32 billion, with participation from SoftBank, Paradigm, Tiger Global, and the Ontario Teachers' Pension Planning Commission. FTX raises frequently, not only to expand its business footprint, but also to make up for the funding gap. At last, in the face of a large number of user withdrawals, Alameda and FTX began to mobilize a large amount of funds to cope with the run, and sold other crypto assets held for protection, including the sale of assets or also BIT. FTX's risk has essentially spread to the entire market. If the big bears follow, the possibility of falling into a death spiral is rising. According to Nansen, there were $540 million in deposits of ERC-20 tokens, including ETH, on FTX in the past 24 hours, with a total withdrawal of $1.2 billion and a net outflow of $653 million. So, how will the FTX events affect crypto market movements? From the above analysis, we can see that Alameda and FTX have really made great strides in the past year, which has led to their funds beginning to become less abundant so they frequently use financing to relieve pressure. From the perspective of on-chain data, its assets are generally relatively scattered, so there will be a steady stream of funds withdrawing FTX, which also leads to liquidity problems in the crypto ecosystem. In terms of capital outflows, market panic has spread rapidly, with a net outflow of $653 million. From a price point of view, the FTX incident has spread to the crypto market, and the crypto market has come to a very important threshold. The reason why this is an important threshold needs to be further talked about in terms of price. As of 5 p.m. on November 8, FTT fell below $22, now quoted at $18.36. If $22 cannot stand back, it is easy to cause the market confidence to collapse. Alameda CEO Carolyn has said to receive the pressure of Binance at this price. If it encounters a short sniper, the run on FTX will undoubtedly intensify. 
Even if traditional banks encounter a crazy run, it will be very unbearable. If FTT continues to collapse, it will further bring down other ecological projects, such as the public chain Solana, or SOL, which is vigorously supported by SBF, BitDAO, or BIT, which has a token swap agreement with FTX, and Abracadabra Finance, or MIM, a decentralized stablecoin project that uses FTT as one of the main collateral assets. Among them, Solana has been positive recently. Its cooperation with Google Cloud, NFT launched on Instagram, mobile phone delivery next month, EVM-compatible network is about to be launched, etc. But it is still shaky, which shows the weight of market panic. The collapse of the FTX ecological empire will inevitably further affect the entire crypto system. At present, Bitcoin has fallen below the $20,000 psychological mark. Ethereum fell below $1,500, of which Bitcoin's $20,000 is also a very important psychological and support position. If FTX thunders, Bitcoin plunge is not impossible, because the volume of FTX is probably larger than three arrows. From a macro point of view, the correlation between US stocks and Bitcoin is relatively high. Overnight, US stocks closed higher, Bitcoin briefly stabilized, which indicates that the strength of US stocks will have a certain positive effect on Bitcoin in the short term. Wilson, chief strategist at Morgan Stanley, a well-known big short on Wall Street, said that investors should continue to be bullish on the stock market ahead of this week's midterm elections, and polls show that Republicans will win at least one of the two houses of Congress which may become a potential catalyst for the downward trend in U.S. Treasury yields and the rise in U.S. stocks, thus allowing the bear market rally in U.S. stocks to continue. During this time, it may be the most critical window for FTX to help itself. In addition to the midterm election impact, this week U.S. stocks will become the key October CPI inflation data, which is also a blow to the crypto market if the data is too poor. Therefore, winter has arrived, and survival is the most important thing. November 7th is the beginning of winter, and winter in the crypto market seems to be coming as scheduled. However, the short-term market ups and downs, due to the lack of transparency of centralized exchanges, some judgments in this article may also be biased. However, from a macro point of view, Bitcoin fell from near $70,000. The current consolidation time is relatively short. The overall lack of offensive momentum in the market, panic is relatively easy to spread, Overall, the trend upward is still early, and the downside risk is relatively large. All right, that's it for this today. I'm Frederick, a creator who has independent thoughts on the future of the web. If you are satisfied with the video content, I hope you can like, subscribe, and share it. If you want to know more about the future web, or you want to discuss the content, please leave a message in the comment area. Thank you very much, and see you next time.